start your thread base just behind the bend of the eye. Stop it just before the bend of the hook and trim the tag end. Now we're going to tie in some yellow marabou. Now you can strip the fur from the stem either by pulling on it or cutting it with a pair of scissors. You can tie it in at the bend of the hook. Advance your thread forward, making sure to capture all the marabou. Then bring your thread back down towards the bend. This is where we're going to tie in our chenille. Tie in your chenille and advance your thread halfway up the shank. Then make connecting wraps up the shank until you reach your bobbin. Now you can tie in your chenille, and then once you're finished, cut your tag end. Now we're going to take a clump of brown marabou and prepare it the same way as the yellow. Tie the clump in on top of the shank of the hook. Trim the tag ends as close to the shank as possible and at an angle. Now we're going to take a moment and prepare our dubbing by pulling the clump apart and then stacking the fibers back on top of each other. This gets all the fibers pointing in the same direction. Now we're going to center tie in the dubbing. Do so, center the dubbing where you want the tie in point. Then make a loose wrap followed by a couple tighter wraps to hold it in place. Then pull the dubbing back, then make a thread dam to hold the fibers pointing towards the rear and downward. Now run a brush through the dubbing to get any loose fibers out. Now we're going to tie in our olive dubbing. Start preparing it the same way as you did the yellow, by pulling and stacking the dubbing on top of each other. Now center tie in this dubbing on top of the shank. Line up the center of it and make one loose wrap and followed by your tight wraps to lock it in place. Then pull the forward facing dubbing back and begin to make a thread dam in front of the dubbing, holding it backwards but still allowing some of it to point up, giving it a fish profile. At this point you can run your dubbing brush back through it one more time.
You can also trim your dubbing to length. At this point, you can throw in a quick whip finish. Followed by cutting the thread. Now take a permanent marker while holding the dubbing and draw in your lines. Now take a red one and draw a line underneath the eye of the hook. This could indicate a number of things like an open mouth or a flaring gill plate. We are going to attach our eyes using a UV cure now. Place a small amount of UV cure where you want to attach the eye on the side of the shank. Then place your eye over the UV cure. Then cure it with the UV light. Now we're going to repeat the steps on the opposite side, starting with putting a small drop of UV cure where we're going to place the eye. Then stick the eye in place. Make sure it's orientated correctly before hitting it with your UV light. Now fill in the gap between the eyes. Using a thick UV cure makes this process much easier. Then cure it with your UV light. Holding it there for an extra second to make sure you get it completely cured. There you have the low-fat minnow.